Well, hello and welcome to you, my luminous tribe. I really appreciate you tuning back to my channel. Now, this is a pick a card March love life prediction reading, okay? So it's a general reading. Uh, please take what resonates, what does not resonate. Do not try to make it yours, okay? So it's pick a pile or pick a card uh, prediction for March in your love, your relationship, whatever you wish to call it, that kind of reading. Also, uh, just to make it easier for you, I have kept two crystal stones here. This is, um, okay, let me start this. This is pile number one, which is amethyst. It's the beautiful amethyst. This is pile number two, which is rose quartz, the beautiful rose quartz. Now, generally, I would suggest to take a deep breath, okay? Pick a pile that attracts you. All right. Do not think about it much. Just pick a pile that attracts you. So we'll try to gain maximum information that we can. And it's just a general prediction. These cards are shuffled and not like cherry picked or hand picked. They just come out randomly. So whatever is here randomly, if it's yours, it's yours. If it's not, let it fly. Okay. All right. So let's start with pile number one. We have the amethyst here, okay? This I'm going to read later. So let me keep this here for you. These are again the angel messages, which is later, power of love oracle later. Let's start with your tarot. Okay, the first card, 10 of coins. I hope you can see this. 10 of coins. Then seven of cups okay let me shift this away let's keep this here for now ten of coins seven of cups oh we have the king of cups not bad uh two of swords and the queen of cups we have the king and the queen in the same pile. Look at that. Okay, let me just keep them here so you can see it. King and king and the queen in the same pile, but they are far, far away. In between, there is a two of swords. Okay. With the two of swords, you're trying to make a decision. That's the instant thing that picks me picks up like I don't know I'm just focused with the two of swords although we have uh, the beautiful king and queen in the same deck instantly I don't know I'm drawn to the two of swords which says that you are not fully there so this king could be your energy the queen could be your energy this is not gender specific so please reverse the roles okay uh, we are not gender biased here but uh, before that let me tell you there's coins which is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn lot of cups so th this is a this is a highly emotional energy that i'm picking up right now which is cancer scorpio aquarian energy no a ca I was cancer a cancer scorpio Pisces. i guess i'm sorry the water sign okay just take that and instantly I get drawn to the two of swords, which is in between the king and the queen that talks about you haven't made a decision as yet. You definitely do want love. You definitely do want your queen of cups. You definitely do want your twin flame, your counterpart, the your, you know, your soulmate, somebody who completes you. But you are looking away. You are not looking at this direction. You are looking at this direction. You are still you know maybe uh going through a lot of choices in your life or going through a lot of emotional factor in your life you are still i mean instantly i get drawn by thinking that you're still trying to make a decision you haven't made a decision so i think march is going to be all about you still wanting to make a decision because your coins see with 10 of coins i see that you are seeking for something or seeking for some sort of fulfillment right maybe it's all about the money we never know that right but there is a decision yet to be made you have the queen of cups here you have your twin flame your your counterpart right waiting for you but the decision is not yet made 
So overall, the energy that I get for the month of March, the prediction is that, that there is an emotional desire. Definitely there is an emotional desire, right? Um, you are seeking for a wish fulfillment. You are trying to make a decision, but you are confused at this point in time. With the two of swords, you are confused at this point in time. You want to get here where you can look at her. You know, but you're not able to look at her at this point in time. You are not able to make a decision at this point in time. And she is waiting for you, but then you are here. You both are in the opposite direction at this point in time. And you know who this person is. With all these choices that you've had in the past, you exactly know who this person is. But there is something that you are seeking to fulfill. There is something that you desire, which is not complete. However... I am sure when the time is right, you will make a decision. I am so sure when the time is right, you will definitely make a decision. So let's check from uh, the romance cards, which I have prepared by my own. Okay, the handmaid. See, it says possibilities of a great love. Wow, this is so beautiful. Keep an open mind and heart. Your soulmate may not always fit your checklist. Everyone is different. So are you. So this is what the message that you're getting. Maybe, you know, you've got a checklist and then that's the reason you are in this indecisive phase. You're not able to really decide better. But it is not necessary that the person uh, that who is your soulmate should have the same kind of checklist that you are into. I mean, it could differ, right? And let go of, oh my God, look at this. Let it go. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So maybe you are still... In that control form, you're not able to release and let it go. So that's the message that we get that let it go. You know, let things, let it go with the flow. Maybe that's the situation. Okay, let's see what our angels have for you. What's the message? Oh, this situation will improve. So you are in some sort of dilemma. Do not worry. This situation is definitely going to improve. Oh, see again, no need to worry. What's wrong? what's wrong why are you worried maybe you have too many people you're chatting with <laughs> realistically do not do that just let it go my friend and meditation brings answers so maybe you need to just focus you need to meditate and you need to seek the guidance your inner intuition help right maybe that's what's looking for and past do you see this it says through the power of love you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space so if definitely i think you are going through some sort of stagnant energy some something that's blocking you at this point in time so release that okay meditate on that and you do not have to worry you will definitely receive the answers that you are looking for and once you get this queen of cups you make a decision i'm so 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 sure you're going to be super super happy that out of all these uh, you have made the right decision is what I feel at this point in time. Let's check just randomly. What's the star sign? It may not necessarily be the same, but it's like that kind of energy. Okay. Or we have a Capricorn. So maybe it's you. You could be a Capricorn or you're seeking a Capricorn's attention. That's a possibility. Aquarian, right? That's you or the person that you're seeking for and libra libra energy definitely definitely see although there is uh, nothing about libra here but the air sign it, it's in two minds right juggling libra energy that's a possibility okay so whatever it is that but, you know this is a very handsome couple do you see this you're going to make a very very handsome couple this is absolutely what i what i get you're going to make a very handsome couple so whatever is the decision i think it's time that you let it go it's time that you follow your intuition because you are going to make a really really good soulmate and twin flame let's check what's the charm that you've got it's a snowflake do you see this it's a snowflake so maybe this is something around the winters it's talking about uh, maybe you will be able to you've met in winters or winter is very significant here 
um it's also talking about you know feeling cold or leaving something in the cold so if you're feeling if that's your emotion right now let it go okay that's the message that i get and let's quickly pick a scroll or two maybe okay one more let's see what's the message that your soulmate or a person that you're thinking of has for you it says hide and seek i didn't make this up do you see you're playing hide and seek right now okay absolute hide and seek situation is happening here for sure 100% hide and seek situation feel feels good and true okay so if you feel good and true that's the person whom you got to be with who makes you feel good and true that's your queen of cups that you're looking for true love is worth waiting for so your true love is worth waiting for my pile number 1 okay and the other one is worth the wait so maybe it's divine timing hence that's the reason why you haven't made up your mind as well there is some sort of indecisive situation happening pile number 1 do not worry let go of it let it go and things will unfold naturally all right so Pile number one. I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please do feel free to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Comment, okay? That's how you support my channel. Thanks a lot. Now, pile number two. Who picked this rose quartz? You're feeling all love and mushy. Let's check what's happening for you in March. This is your love prediction. We are going to check these cards a little later. I'm going to keep them here for you. Okay. Let's check what's happening in tarot. we have knight of coins five of cups queen of cups coins sorry queen of coins okay earth energy water energy knave of swords air energy and four of wands fire energy aries leo sagittarius libra energy taurus virgo capricorn cancerian energy wow okay So what's happening here pile number 2 what is happening here um i instantly get drawn to the five of cups over here okay there is some sort of you know past situation that you are trying to let go or you've been hurt about you know this is very strongly pulling me or this this is drawn my attention that you have been hurt so much in the past right and you've tried your best i mean there's a lot of emotional there's a lot of sense and sensitivity that i see over your where you're trying either you're trying your best to let it go or the person that you are thinking about is trying to let go of this relationship but you're still holding on to something i don't know what you would know much better also um, you know with the page of swords i see that things are still on your mind you're hesitating there is some there is some hesitation definitely that's happened i mean these two just talk about you have so much more in you which has hurt you in the past to talk vent you've not got a closure maybe that's what you've not got a closure but then you do have the queen of coins the queen of coins is all about a very earthy energy it's a very practical energy it's either your energy or the person that you're seeking for or maybe the person that is supposed to come in your life is a very grounded and practical person but till the time you don't uh, you know get a closure you don't let go of what has not served you right you will not reach to your wish fulfillment because four of wands talks about a happy married life four of wands talks about taking the next level the commitment that you're looking for so you are definitely an energy that's looking for a strong bounded relationship you're looking for some sort of commitment some sort of wish fulfillment some sort of uh, soul nurturing relationship but how do you get that it's still far away it it is in the near future for sure but it's coming right from here till there working on your pentacles working on your coins maybe because you've gone through so much of hurt and emotions that you gave yourself this time to work on your coins to work on your emotions to be the knight of coins it's a very it's a slow moving energy right but it is getting there 
till the time you don't get your closure that you're seeking for i don't think you will this is this is the message that i'm getting see it's a general reading so take what resonates but till the time you do not really get closure i don't think you will be moving on to this happy fulfillment life that you have in store for you so you have a beautiful life in store for you but you need to start working on getting your closure okay and how do you get that that's totally up to you stop looking at what's in the past because you are totally paying attention to what's in the past you're not paying attention to what's behind you and behind you is a successful outcome right so that's what you really really need to pay attention to okay let's check what's happening here your romance tarot i mean romance oracle what's saying See, love thyself first. Maybe you need to really take care of, take care of yourself. Your, your self-love makes you more attractive. Respect the inner you. You cannot truly love another until you know how to love yourself. Hence, you're still far away. You have to get a closure. You have to start getting in the self-love mode. You need to you know, love yourself first. You're a beautiful energy. You need to get into that mode because you do have wish fulfillment here at the end of the day and unrequited love. This relation does not avenge your needs. This could only be an attachment. Hence, this could be obsessive and all consuming. There you go. There you go. Do I need to say anything more? You've into this whole obsession of this past relationship. Phew. Come on, Kalas, go, go, go. You should do that. Go, get out of my life. I need to be here. I need to be in a commitment. I need to be with a strong person who's here for me. Right? Let's see. let's check what the angels have to say. Improving health. Improve your health. You're all consumed and absorbed by negativity. Improve your health. Take care of yourself. Nurture your body. Choose a new direction. Choose the direction that calls out to love romance is definitely there in your cards my friends you are definitely going to have the romance of mwah, your life and unity see you understand that love shared with another is amplified as and has a ripple effect across the universe it's so beautiful you know when you get love in return it's amplified right it's it's at a different magnitude altogether that's what you're looking for that's your passion stop this stop this brr, just brr, brr it out of your life okay let's check the energy of a possible star sign it's not necessary it's going to be the same it's just energy okay gemini are you a gemini or you are in love with the gemini or the gemini is waiting for you that's a possibility libra air sign air sign again and one more which is scorpio okay so these are the energies for you or for your partner let's check what's in the charm let's pick one charm for you it's a beautiful energy but all you need to do is just let go of fear let go of the possibility let go of things that does not serve you right so we've got a key do you see that the charm is a key we've got a key as a charm for you key is answers right it's opening the door to the next new possibilities it is seeking answers the person over here has the key to your heart not this not this not this not the past okay so and also key is all about wisdom okay get into that intellectual and wisdom mode because this person has the key to your heart let's check what's happening in love scrolls for you okay that's too many what is the message your romantic partner wants to see you're invited this person has his heart and soul open for you you are truly invited but you are not opening the door with the key okay you need to open the door with the key you need to let go of past that's not serving you right you on my mind so maybe it is the situation is on your mind or on your other person's mind and you are trying your best to redeem it that's a possibility Whew. oh my <laughs> what did i say mr and mrs vibes four of wands mr and mrs vibes you've got the look look you've got the diamond look at this 
Do you see? I've got a diamond on my ring finger. You've got the diamond here. Okay, just need to give it to the right person or the right person has to give it to you. But for that, you got to let go of the past because, you know, hurt people, hurt people. See, this is blank. Right now, you're absolutely blank, maybe. Okay, but hurt people, hurt people. And if you do not heal, you'll bleed on people who do not cut you, my friend. That's going to happen. And this is a karmic connection. Hold on to that karmic connection. Look for the positive vibe. And file number two, if you've liked this reading, if it resonates with you, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And do not forget to comment. Support my channel by commenting. I wish you all the best in March. If you need a personal reading, log into my website. Love you all with a big hollow heart. Mwah.